Mercedes Wheeler. And you can see it's a sign just going between the roads. So this is the trial, there's a little black grass, see how he succeeds. So I just picked up a couple of samples of weeds from the weeder just to show you what uh, the outcome was. So I thought this was a fair example of a broadleaf weed, it's just been nicely cut off. So I'd say that that's pretty successful. This on the other hand was quite a large um, grass, it, well it was the wheat, it was between the rows uh, and I thought it was a good example of what would happen with black grass. Um, I had to pull it out but I thought it trimmed the top off very well and I thought that it would certainly put the weed back quite considerably and then I dug it out just to show what the root ball was. Good evening, I thought it would be important just to whip through a few of my observations with regard to weeding uh, to summarise our trial. Um, certainly we need to get some extra value from our RTK system and I think the use of the mechanical weeder certainly helps us generate some extra value. I know John Palsy quite well who has a YouTube channel that I'll put a link in for. Uh, he makes the observation from an organic system standing that control of grass weeds is very, needs a very accurate depth control not sure that Claydon quite achieved that, but certainly it would be a very good entry to help us better understand the system. Uh, I suppose the next point is we managed to weed at six kilometers an hour, which is relatively slow. Um, therefore you need a good outcome every time. So that kind of goes back to the uh, very accurate depth control uh, observation we made before. I suppose finally there's a question with regard to our system. We run two different dr drills, the Claydon and the Sky, and therefore I would need to have some thought as to how I could use a weeder with both drills to achieve a cost effective outcome. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, please like, subscribe to get receive updates, and uh, we'll see more of each other in the future. Good night.